hello everyone it's me subs and i am back with another video today i will be showing you how to draw different doors in autocad so stay tuned so the first door that we're going to be learning how to draw is a double door so what i'm doing here first is i want to find out the full length of that empty space that is where i'm going to have my double door so the full length of that is 4,545. So what we're going to do now, since we have um, 4,545 as our full length, we need to know this, the, the center, which is where our connection between the two doors would will be. So what I'm doing here is just join a line connecting the two walls and finding the center of that line. As I said, that's where the, do the double doors would form. Okay, I'm just doing this the easy way. So there's, it's very easy. Um, the concept of joining a door in AutoCAD is very easy. Um, some some um, individuals just draw a vertical line and a an horizontal line and use a circle to just finish the curve of the door as I am showing over here. Um, and right where the lines meet, I'm going. That would be the start of my circle, and I'm going to just connect it just like that and trim it trim up the unnecessary areas after trimming the unnecessary areas we're going to offset the vertical line to four four millimeters and that's just the concept of a door okay so now that we know the main concept of a door let's just get right in the video but before that please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe please comment below and tell me what other videos that you would like me to do if you'd like me to do more autocad videos you can also tell me that in the comment section below so the first thing to note when joining a door is that all doors have a door jam a door jam is the part of a door which holds the entire door together holds it in place so it doesn't wobble or anything so we're going to draw a um, horizontal line at 50 as well as a vertical line going up to 150 and we're going to fully connect it now i am going to offset the horizontal line to 25 millimeters but uh, what is this but as i was saying both the um top horizontal line and the bottom horizontal line so um offsetting that to 25 um yes i should be doing that any moment now yeah so and at the bottom offset after doing so, we are going to delete the top horizontal line and the bottom horizontal line. Not the ones on the inside, but the ones on the exact outside. We are also going to trim the little edges above the horizontal line on the inside. As you can see, delete and delete the outside horizontal lines. And that is the door jam. We are going to also repeat that on the other side so you know we're going to draw a horizontal line at 50 um going upwards to 150 and across again to 50 connecting it and we're neck also as we did on the previous side we're going to offset the hor the horizontal lines to 25 and the also the bottom one to 25 millimeters and we're going to trim the edges and delete the top horizontal lines just reminding you again to like comment share and subscribe if there are any um, concept that you didn't understand um, you can type it in the comment section below so what I'm doing now, I'm going to select um line and I'm going to draw a line from the center of the door jam across the red line 
uh, a little bit across the red line and remember that the red line is the center the reason why i'm drawing this line is to get the perfect alignment of where the circle will end select the circle i'm going to set the end of the door jam and i'm going to select the red line which is the center as you can see our first circle is drawn and we're going to um, repeat the same procedure on the next side so draw the line across select circle and we're going to draw the circle and write at the red line just like that so now that we have our double circle we're going to delete the line that we drew and after that we're going to trim the bottom part of these circles so select trim trim the bottom part the first one the bottom part of the second one now that we have done that we're going to draw our vertical lines to connect the door to the doorknob as you can see right here we're going to draw it upwards go across 50 because the the thickness of the door the door jam is 50 going down and then afterwards we're going to also repeat this up the same the other side so the same procedure at the other side we're going to select line and draw our vertical line across the circle 50 across and downwards again so now that we have done that we're going to trim the unnecessary parts so the first part we're going to trim is the other half of the semicircle and the extra lines at the top and then the other part that we're going to trim is also the other semicircle and that is your double door as you can see easily done um, i'm also deleting the lines at the top because those are not necessary and that's how you draw a perfect double door I'm also deleting the center line, the red line in the center. And that is that, your double door. Now that we are finished with our double door, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's move on. So the next door that we'll be drawing is very simple. So we're going to be keeping that door jam right there and on we're going to be drawing a horizontal line of length 900 so we'll be drawing a door of width 900 um, repeating that also at the top of the door jam so we're going to draw another horizontal line of 900 and just like we drew our door jams we are going to go across um, 50 and up 100 and across again to 50 I must be doing that any minute now after that we will delete the two lines that we drew the two horizontal lines that we drew of 900 millimeters um, we just drew those lines in order to get the other um, door jam and in order to get the width of the door so now we're going to select our circle um, just like we did the other door one end of the door jam to the other end of the door jam and then we're going to use our vertical line to connect the door the curve of the door to the edge of the door so at the other at one end of the door jam we draw a, a vertical line and at the other end of the door jam we draw another vertical line after all of that we are going to trim up our door so trim the unnecessary part of the door that is our small door so for example if you have a bathroom that is the door that you could put at your bathroom entrance now there is an option if you don't want your door to have a vertical edge i will be showing you how to do that 
So just like you did before, you're going to use your circle and draw from one end of the door jam to the other end of the door jam. Afterwards, you're going to use your line and have that line from one end of the, the door jam going up across, going across at a 45 degree angle across the circle. Okay, so you can go a little bit across the circle. You can pass the circle a little bit. And you're going to offset that line to 40 millimeters. What is what I'm doing here? I'm going to use your line command again to connect the bottom of the line where the door jam is. So as I zoomed and I connect that part. Last, you're going to you're going to trim the unnecessary parts of the door so you're going to trim the top part and you're going to trim the um, excess lines and that is how you would have your door if you don't want it to have a vertical if you don't want it to have a vertical edge this is the end of our video please like comment share and subscribe also I'm going to teach you how to do a final door, a slide door, but that would be in another video because this video is getting a little bit long and I do not want to bore anyone. But no worries, I'll be posting the other video. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed and give less my love for you.